In recent times, there have been a great advancements in hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines. Last year, Toyota converted the 1.6-liter three-cylinder engine from the GR Yaris to run on hydrogen. Toyota also announced that they are making a hydrogen-powered 5-liter V8 engine in partnership with Yamaha. The last supercar engine these two partnered on sounded like this. Toyota believes there is a future for hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines. And since hydrogen doesn't have any hydrocarbons, even when used in an internal combustion engine, it has no carbon emission. So great, let's all convert our engines to run on hydrogen. Well, it isn't as simple as a CNG or LPG conversion. It is quite hard to do. For starters, hydrogen doesn't exist in liquid form under normal condition. So either it has to be compressed and stored under extreme pressure almost at 10,000 psi or stored as a liquid at extremely low temperature at around minus 250 degrees Celsius. And also hydrogen is very light so it requires a lot of space to store it. Now using hydrogen in an internal combustion engine may not produce carbon emission but it produces NOx and a lot of it. But let's just say all of this can be achieved. The hydrogen powered engine would still be only as efficient as other engines which is around 25 to 30 percent efficiency. Hydrogen is not a cheap fuel. It is incredibly difficult and energy consuming to produce in a green way that is by electrolysis. So if a fuel is really difficult to produce and store then you would have to use it much more efficiently. The new hydrogen fuel cell in the Toyota Mirai are around 60 percent efficient. That means it is twice as efficient as hydrogen internal combustion engines. What it means is either you can drive twice the distance for a given fuel or you can carry half the fuel to travel the same distance in a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle over a hydrogen engine car. So hydrogen fuel cell makes more sense than a hydrogen internal combustion engine if we were to go down the hydrogen route. Can hydrogen save internal combustion engines? And the answer to that question is no. Hydrogen probably will not save internal combustion engines as many governments around the world have already given a deadline for the internal combustion engines as many of them have banned the sale of one in the coming decades. What do you think about it? Do you think hydrogen will save internal combustion engines? Or is fuel cell a better way forward? Or do you think batteries will take over the world? Tell me about what you think in the comments below. That's it for the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers and take care.